Steve. Yes, sir. Trying to do the Friday Four video. That's always a good time. I'm not in the mood today. Oh, are you, not, are you not feeling today? We lost our, our power one. Well, yeah, hour. we had a huge power outage for so, four hours in a dark, scary, haunted building. Yeah, so I kind of was like, eh, I'm not really feeling it now. So, but I guess we should do it. We should be consistent. Right, Doge? Yeah. Nafisa drew some alternate costumes <clears throat> and stuff. I like the snowman and the hippo. hippo. This might be for Alan. Super cool. They're all for Alan. Oh, everything's for Alan. <laughs> Alan got so much love. Alright, so we're gonna we'll show we're gonna show the training room, the gallery. Oh nice! Yes, so come on, let's go see what Tobin's been making. Have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, some of us just don't have the, the energy to do the camera thing. You know, you know what that's like, Doge, right? God damn it. Speak, Doge. Speak. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, so, Tobin. Yeah. What are you running? Are you running the training? I am about to run it right now. So, Tobin's been working on training for the game. The training I will show you is led by this guy. We don't have a name for him yet, but he is this... Uh, Andrea came up with the idea of this, uh, like, biology dissected frog that's pinned, that she drew, like, the, the kid drew a picture of. So he's kind of this very angry British uh, accented frog that uh, is the one who's guiding you through sort of how to do things in the game and how to play the game. So you're dropping into his sort of underground lair where he trains all of the warriors who fight in the notebook. And uh, what we'll show you now over on Tobin's is extremely early. Don't show them all. This is just, the, okay. So Tobin's got a shooting gallery he's working on. And uh, so it's, it's not done yet, but kind of let's, let's film this stuff. So, so basically, uh, obviously all the blue blocks will be buildings and stuff, but you're just, it's just kind of fun shit to shoot. And you don't, well, you don't realize you can run into it at first. So go back out, go back out. God damn it, Tobin. Spoil the surprise. <laughs> So hopefully most players will spend time sort of shooting, and the, right now we just have these sort of placeholder targets, but as you can see, there are all kinds of crazy things to shoot. Um, the targets are in the wrong place, obviously. Um, there's a stork with a baby. Can't believe, yeah. It's horrible. Um, and so it's just kind of crazy shit the kid's drawing in the notebook, and as you sort of explore the room, because you can come to these little pedestals here, and these are all the weapons of the game that you'll be able to pick up and try whatever you want. Uh, to learn how to play with it and stuff. So it really is, we're kind of very much about just, hey, we've built a lot of cool weapons, at least we think, and we're just going to kind of build this space for people to come in, learn how to use them, have fun with them. Players, if they explore them, will realize they can actually go into the training, into the shooting gallery. And again, this isn't done, so you're not going to have these uh, targets that just turn red. They'll actually have different animation states uh, as you damage them. But explore a little bit more. You can go up top. And there'll be like little people in windows. I want to have like a lady taking a shower in a window and you shoot the water and it gets all cold and shit. Um, and just little fun little payoff gags and visual gags and stuff. But uh, can you go to the way up top? Or is that where you're going? Yeah, figure it So yeah, you can get way up to the top where you kind of start seeing Pegasus flying by and UFOs and helicopters and so go, go back to the, like, you know, jump over it because most people aren't going to see it from here. They're going to be way up here. Again, whether we just let you walk into this or it's kind of a secret of how you get into the gallery, I think it's still TBD. And again, I know you guys know this, just a really early level. There's no art except sort of the targets right now. But yeah, so you can kind of aim down and look up. Can you show them up top? Just like, don't zoom in though. Yeah, so you've got all this sort of depth and layers that you can kind of find things to shoot at. So anyway, it's, it's coming along. It's looking pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the art. So ultimately, it will look like this. Andrea did a uh, concept of the actual... Let's see. Yeah, so it'll end up looking like this. Or more like this. So you'll have all those blue buildings and stuff. It's still meant to look kind of fake, like a shooting gallery but it'll have art and stuff. So uh, a lot of work going into that. Training levels are so fucking boring that we're really just working hard to make sure that we put something in that doesn't just feel, you know, they're boring, but they're necessary. But we still want to have the personality of the game 
and uh, be really fun to explore and play in. So that's coming along really good. Well, let's go show you. Um, we're really cranking on E3. Here's a version of, uh, well, I'll save that for later. We're doing a lot of new color experimentation. is doing some work on trying to get the colors even tighter for, uh, for E3. So here's like a new color scheme possibly for Cyborgula. Let's see. I really like the red coats. What do you think, Doge? Yeah, I, I like the... Um Actually, I like the black one with the red. This one, yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool, too. Or at least my favorite part is the black boot. I think that could go well on pretty much any one of them. Oh, yeah. So. I like the black person. You, like, you both like the black with the red? Yeah. Yeah, it's more vampire Okay. So, yeah, I don't fucking know. We're just doing shit, y'all. So, I, I was saying to them, I'm just not in the headspace to do a Friday video today, but when you commit, you gotta do it every fucking Friday. <laughs> yeah, so no response to that. Doge, speak. Here, give me a camera. I'll film you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Talk to the fine folks. Um, did you see Mad Max? I did. It was super awesome. Okay. Did you see Pitch Perfect 2? I saw Pitch Perfect 2. It was okay, saw... right? It wasn't great. It was just okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just about as good as the first one, and I think that kind of... Uh, make sequels fall short because there's like nothing new really. It's kind of like the same style, same kind of jokes, things like that. It didn't have the heart of the first one though. It didn't have the personal story of the first one. Yeah, it seems like they were trying too hard to kind of do like the pass the torch kind of thing because there's a new character. In like it. Shia LaBeouf when he picked up Indy's <laughs> hat at the end. Yeah, but there's no uh, there's no horrible scene with the monkeys swinging around. Who's this uh, Who's this violin playing lady you got over here on your screen here, Doge? Why don't you show the fine folks? Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Who is this? She's hiding in the darkness. Um, well, I have multiple uh, wallpapers. Multiple what? Wallpapers and they kind of, lots and lots of wall change. It's actually currently the Avengers. Yeah, you know that's okay. We understand that. But what's what's the other one? Uh, the Come on, show the people the violin girl you have a crush on, Doge. Come on. Okay. Okay. Maybe she's watching. Maybe. Maybe she's one of the Hopefully. hundred people who watch our Friday videos. <laughs> yeah. That guy likes me. I like that guy. <laughs> what, this is, what's her name, Lindsay um, Sterling? Her name's Lindsay Sterling. She's awesome uh, musician on YouTube. I thought she was great when she was Willow and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> um, this video is going too long, isn't it? Oh, look, it's the oh, producer, oh everyone. It's Nick. <laughs> Did you ever watch Nerdy Nummies on YouTube? No. That be. girl I like. I like, she's a good YouTuber. That's your um, someday, hopefully. Are you stalking her? Oh, no, definitely you cyber not. Stalking? No stalking, definitely not stalking. Okay, good for you, Doge. It's good not to be What's a stalker. Uh, Lindsay Sterling. Okay. All right. His face lit up when he said it. Say it, say her name. <laughs> Lindsay Sterling. Do you like it? Um, all right, all right. Well, that's our Friday video. Say hi to the fine people. You're never on the videos. What do you have to say to the people? Um, Give them some advice from the streets. Something to do works. Protect your neck. I don't know what that means, but you know. Protect your neck. All right. Yeah, See threat. you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's more with Lindy Sterling? Yeah, there was. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Oh, look at her. Look at her. She's looking at you, Doge. That was the first time Hi, she Doge. Does her. she sound like that? Mm -hmm. Sort of, actually. She does? Yeah. But she does some cool stuff. I saw her Legend of Zelda stuff in the woods. That was pretty cool. It was cool. I actually saw her play that song live, so that was a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's very cool. All right, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>